we have four hyperbaric chambers where a person enters in to the chamber, sits down comfortably, uh, and watches television or rests or may even exercise within the chamber to help regain some of the functions that have been lost due to the stroke. It's an amazing technique. It's a very simple technique. It's been around for many, many years, but it's only been in the last few years that uh, doctors like myself have begun to uh, use hyperbaric oxygen for the treatment of the brain injured. So we believe that the flow of blood to the various parts of the body is very, very important for healing. So we believe that oxygen is the thing that is necessary for healing of most all diseases. We are very much concerned with the delivery of oxygen to your tissues. In the brain, in a stroke, this is the major problem. It has now been discovered that around this core area of dead tissue that occurs in the stroke, there is a certain amount of tissue that is still alive. These cells are like they have had the flu. They're sick, they're laying on the couch, they can't get up and do anything. You ask them to come over and help with the dishes, they say, Mom, forget it. I'm laying here and not doing anything. Or get it, I'm sick. That's it. I'm not going to do a thing. Wait until I'm better. Bring me some food. Maybe I'll get better. So we have to bring them food for them to get better. Hyperbaric oxygen does that. If you do hyperbaric oxygen treatments every day, over time you develop new blood vessels. These areas then are able to get new blood, new oxygen, and then they can repair themselves. So hyperbaric oxygen helps any tissue, any part of the body that is lacking blood, lacking proper oxygenation. So it's used for a whole variety of other things, including burns, gangrene, people who are involved in car accidents, all of these things, and many more are going to be helped by hyperbaric oxygen. So not only do we help the person with their brain problems, but if they have other problems as well, hyperbaric oxygen helps with that.